Okay, quick update on the bug out bag. I'm waiting for some items to be shipped. Uh, some things seem to be taking longer than others. Uh, as soon as those come in, we'll be doing the review on the updated and improved bug out bag. So for now, in the meantime, I thought I would go over some camp pillows. Um, I have two now that I'm going to review. Some of them you may have seen, some of you may have not seen. And I have a couple coming in next week. So I'm going to review them all individually so you get uh, a shorter video and <laughs> you get all the specs and everything on each pillow. At the end of all the reviews, I'm going to put all the pillows together so you can compare them that way and see what they look like side by side. And, you know, put them into different classifications as for what they're good for or um, what I found their best uses for. Again, this is all my opinion. Uh, pillows are a very personal item um, and it, it depends on a lot of things, you know. Um, the weight, the size, the cost, and what you're going to be using it for, uh, what your comfort level is. I'm a side sleeper. Um, I like extreme comfort when I sleep. Uh, so this pillow, this is the Thermarest uh, compressible pillow. There's a ton of reviews on this. It's a very, very popular pillow. It's been around for a long time. I purchased this back in 2011. And I'm doing the review now because I've had it for four years. I've used this. I've abused this. I've sat on it. I've leaned on it. I've done whatever with it. And it's held up remarkably well for four years of abuse. I purchased it on Amazon. And it was $22.95 at the time. And I like the fact that it is made in America. That you can wash it in your washing machine and dry it. And that... Thermarest recycled the foam from their uh, pads to make these. I mean, <laughs> excellent. What an excellent way to recycle something and continue to make a profit off of it. Um, so you got to hats off to Thermarest for that. I only own a couple Thermarest products. Um, I, I didn't care for their pads. I found them very noisy. <laughs> but the pillow, I got to give it to them. I love this pillow. It's awesome. So let's check it out. So it's in its stuff state, state, and it's a lot thicker than it would come when you order it um, because I've been using it, and I threw it in the dryer, and this is like my second take, so <laughs> it's a lot puffier than it should be. But anyways, when you get it, it's, it's shocking when you first take it out of here, man. The thing is really super flat, low to the ground. You're like, oh, what a disappointment. You know, and there's been a ton of complaints on the reviews about it. Oh, I fluffed it, you know, with my hand, and it wouldn't fluff, or... You know, because I don't, you know, the directions on here tell you, I think, to fluff it with your hand. But, you know, you skip the wash. You don't have to wash it, you know, unless it's brand new and you want to wash it. But just toss it in the dryer. I use the heat setting. You know, it seems to work faster and better. I throw it in the heat setting for like two to three minutes. The thing blows up like a blowfish. I mean, it's impressive. I was like, holy smokes, when it came out of the dryer. Um, very cool. So let's do some quick measurements here. Get that over with. Uh, compressed, it's roughly... Uh, 13 inches long, which is quite large for a backpacking pillow, and it's roughly five to five and a half, depending on how good you are at stuffing things in stuff sacks. Um, okay, so you got your little barrel lock and your little cord here. Let's open it up, take it out, unroll it, and there you go. There's the pillow. And you shake it and fluff it. <laughs> okay. You can take the little uh, stuff sack and fold it back over so it's out of your way. Again, like I said, this is not nearly as fluffy. Uh, it's been compressed for a little bit. Throw this thing in the dryer and it'll whoosh, it'll just loft right up. Okay, this is the, the denim, which refers to the color, not what it's made out of. This is a brushed polyester. It's very soft material. The opposite side is like a almost like a polyester nylon cottony type blend um, you know it's soft but it's not nearly as soft as obviously the brushed plush side it's a good size pillow when it's um, unfolded it is about 17 and a half inches long and that's because it's not puffed up it's usually about 17 and it's about 13 and a half a little under 13 and a half tall. So it's a pretty good sized pillow. I mean, my head fits on here and I got room in the back and room on the front. Um, 
I like I said, uh, th- this is I think this is advertised as a uh, a pillow for travel or for base camp, um, which would be great. Um, it would be really great in a base camp situation. Backpacking, um, like I said, unless you're willing to give up the space and the weight. Um, this is the medium size pillow and it's uh, 11.4 ounces. So it's quite a bit heavy for a backpack packing situation and with the rolled up size of 13 by 5 it's quite bulky. So I mean if you're willing to give up you know the space and the weight you're going to love this pillow. I mean it is just it's as comfortable as you could get um, you know as close as you can get to your pillow at home. When you first get this pillow and you lay on it um, because it's filled with memory foam and it's chunks of memory foam because you know like I said it's the leftover pieces from the thermorest they recycle you're gonna be like oh it's poking me in the head and I don't like it and you know there was a lot of people who complained about that on the reviews as well gotta give it time it's brand new uh, <laughs> you know the memory foam is nice and stiff and you know it did when I first got it it poked me in the back of the head and it felt kind of weird first too and I was like uh, I don't know if I like this but you know, after it wears in and breaks in for a while and after you've, you know, compressed it, smashed it down with your head or your ass or whatever you're putting on it, um, you know, and then you puff it back up or you wash it a few times and puff it back up, they do get a little more relaxed. So after a while, I don't know if it relaxes because of the washing or the wear on it or if your head just gets used to it. <laughs> but this is a very inexpensive, very thick, very comfortable plush pillow. Um, I really, the only negative thing I could actually say about this pillow, um, and it's not, you know, really a negative, but this is a little barrel lock here. I have long hair, so if I put this in the wrong position and it wraps up around my hair, it rips my hair out, so, um, but I just make sure that I keep the barrel lock to the top of the pillow instead of, like, at the bottom. But other than that, there's really no complaints. It comes in small, medium, and large, and now they have the new extra large. They have new colors. Um, the extra large is is a huge size, man. I think it's like a uh, maybe a queen size pillow or bigger. Um, they sell them on Amazon. They sell them all over the place. You know, sometimes you can get them on sale for a good deal. Um, there's a I have a written review on Amazon uh, of quite a few different products under the name Smarty Dog 904. Feel free to check out any of those written reviews if you like. There's, you know, pictures. I think I might even have some videos on that one. Um, so there you go. That's the review, my quick review of the Thermorest Compressible Pillow. Highly recommend it. You know, car camping, base camp, definitely for travel. Uh, and backpacking, you know, if you're willing to give up the space and the weight, you will not be disappointed because this thing is super, super comfortable. So that's the first rev- pillow reviewed. Uh, we're going to move on to our second pillow in the next video. So I hope this video was informative for you. I hope the pillow works out for you. This has been a very great purchase for me, four years old and still going strong. I hope you're enjoying Great Gadgets and Gear. And stay tuned for the next review. Thank you.